Welcome to the Bill Benson Show. If you like conspiracy theories, you like what's going on in the government, you like to learn about secret societies, you like to learn about Jehovah Witnesses, this is the perfect channel for you. Please subscribe and make a comment. Welcome to the Bill Benson Show. Alright, so I, I'm just making this video. It's not going to be very high quality. Um, I don't. I didn't mean to make this, but there's so much confusion. I have to address this, and I won't remember a couple weeks from now. So, Watchtower is a pawn of the Zionist movement. There was some confusion with people about what I was saying, and they were mixing things up and getting confused. And so, I apologize if I wasn't clear. And I'm going to clarify it very simple what I was saying. I was not saying that Charles Taze Russell was taught by the Spiritists that I was speaking about. And so, just so we understand, Charles Taze Russell is the founder of the organization that was Zion Watchtower, which became Jehovah Witnesses later. Charles Taze Russell was born, okay, in 1852, and he died in 1916. Charles Taze Russell, they do a bunch of weird stuff. He's a really bizarre guy, but we're not going to talk about him. We're not going to research him. I'm just telling you, as far as the cultist stuff, he had a bunch of cultist belief systems that are different than the cultist belief systems that are being taught today by Jehovah Witnesses. If you taught the things that Charles Taze Russell teaches during his time, now Jehovah Witnesses would disfellowship you for spiritism. So just keep that in mind. Pyramidology, all that stuff, they don't believe in anymore. Joseph Franklin Rutherford is the second president of Watchtower. This is who we're talking about. So he was born in 1869 and he died in 1942. When Charles Taze Russell died, this guy took over. And he made several doctrine changes and all the Masonic belief systems that we know right here and now that are enforced by the Jehovah Witness group came from this man. He's also the person who changed the names of the organization to Jehovah Witnesses. So remember, Jehovah Witnesses had a different name. Zion's Watchtower was in 1879. The name was changed in 1931. By Joseph Franklin Rutherford. Now, these are the important names. So, Alistair Cronley was born in 1875 and died in 1942. Jonas Graber was born in 1876 and died in 1944. These guys are spiritualists, okay? They're the ones that taught or worked with the second president of Jehovah Witnesses. All the Masonic belief systems that you have right now that are different from Charles Taze Russell came from these two with the help of the second president of the organization known as Jehovah's Witnesses. So, Alistair Cronley, okay, he was born in 1875, he died in 1947. So, he's during the generation of the second president. He is a cultist. You can look him up. His belief systems and the things that he taught that the spirits told him are the same as Jehovah's Witnesses' new light that was brought in by the second president of the organization we know as Watchtower. Now, the second cultist who Watchtower either learned or borrowed their material from is a man named Jonas. Graeber, Graeber, I don't know how to say his first name, but Jonas here was a Catholic priest, and his wife was a medium. He was born in 1876 and 1944. So once again, he is in the same time period as the second president of the organization we know as Watchtower. His information, his belief systems that he wrote about, his spiritism, was referenced in literature by the organization, by the second president of the organization known as Jehovah Witnesses. So, I hope we understand what I'm telling you. 
the Masonic origins of the Organization of Jehovah Witnesses comes from Charles Taze Russell. He was a Mason. He worked with Masons. But he, as far as I know, wasn't an actual cultist. These individuals are actual Masonic cultists. Okay? So, remember, there are different kinds of Masons out there. Some of them are Christian. Some of them are Hindu. Some of them are Satanic. It depends on what you are. What I'm telling you is Watchtower was a Zionist organization in the beginning, which was teaching unique systems of belief that no one else had that were inspired by Masonic belief systems. When he died, a Masonic Satanic cult took over. Those belief systems were coming from Joseph Franklin Rutherford, the second president. And we know that's to be true because they are mentioning where their beliefs come from and they're supported by things that are coming from Alistair and Jonas. Those are both known cultists. So we understand people realize this. Christians knew this. People talked about this. The connection between the organization of Watchtower and the spiritism of Jonas was well known and was exposed by Christian groups during the time period. Jonas wrote his own Bible. His Bible is the same belief systems as the New World Translation Bible that the organization known as Watchtower produced. So both of these cultists are saying some of the similar things. Jesus is the Son of God. The Trinity doesn't exist. Hell doesn't exist. So these are things that were written down and were being taught by the followers of these cultists. Watchtower took this information and created their own Bible using these belief systems. So we're all familiar with the 1961 Black Bible. There was a 1951 that came from Nathan. So Nathan is the third president of Watchtower. He took the Masonic occult belief systems from the second president, who also took that information from those two individuals that we were just speaking about who were cultists, and they created their Bible. Their Bible is directly inspired by cultists. Jehovah Witnesses were making reference to these cultist leaders and their Masonic Bible to support their belief systems. John was one of the references that Watchtower used that you're seeing in these photos here. So let's take a look at the cultist writing. So right where it says Colossians 1.15, Christ is therefore not God as he is so generally thought today but the first created son of God. So remember, so these belief systems are not originating from the organization. Cultists are the ones that taught this. Watchtower picked up on it. Watchtower began to teach it. Watchtower then began to create their version of these Bibles that are Masonic cultist Bibles. So when you learn that the second president was creating the shunning process, you think about the brainwashing techniques, which were coming from outside sources, cultist members, and then you talk about the actual belief systems of these cultist groups, you will see the connection of the occult with the organization. Nathan is the one who was fully supporting this. He learned this from the second president, he continued to teach it, and he enforced it. This is the guy who put in place all the rules and regulations protecting pedophilia. Nathan is the one who started the Watchtower Bible Track Society problem with pedophilia. So I hope this introduction explains the differences, and now you understand what I was trying to tell you. Alistair is the his belief systems in controlling people that he learned from the occult 
Watchtower uses in its shunning techniques. The processes of brainwashing and conditioning are coming from Cronley. Johannes, the belief systems are actually coming from this cultist. So you have their policies and procedures and control and mechanisms coming from a satanic cultist. You also have another cultist teaching their version of the Bible, their mistranslation that comes from spirits. Charles Taze Russell did not teach these things that these cultists were teaching. The second president adopted these belief systems from these two individuals. This is what I was trying to tell you. Charles T. Russell's belief systems were altered by the second president. The second president took both these occultist belief systems and induced them into the organization where they adopted them and became what we know today. The third president was the one that fully initiated and brought the full, complete Masonic indoctrination to everyone. This was a slow and gradual process. So remember, JW started out in 1879 as a Zion Watchtower, co-founder of Zion's Watchtower Track Society, with William Henry Conley as someone who helped spread this. The name Jehovah's Witnesses came in 1931. It came from the second president, Joseph Franklin Rutherford. Joseph Franklin Rutherford was born in 1869 and died in 1942. 1942 is when the third president took over. So remember, the third president, Nathan Harmer, born in 1905, died in 1977. He takes over in 1942, the third president. Remember, during his reign, they created the New World Translation 1961 version. But there was a 1950 version of this. So when he took over in 1942, a few years later, he created his Masonic Bible in 1950. And then a full-fledged version sent all around the world was sent in 1961. The Masonic Bible says Jesus is not the Son, or Jesus is the Son. He's not the Lord. Trinity does not exist. They're all separate entities. That means um, there's God, there's the Son, and then there's the Holy Spirit. And they're all separate. They're not one. Hell doesn't exist. Witnesses do not believe in hell. This is a Masonic cultist belief system. This is an alteration of the original text. So now I've given you all the facts that I know about the organization. Now we're going to talk about my theories. Okay, so we know that the practicing of the occult brainwashing techniques are coming from Cronley. And then we know that Jonas is teaching these belief systems he's got from spirits, which are identical to Jehovah's Witnesses' belief systems. The idea behind this is that these satanic groups are altering the Bible in a way to make people believe in an entity that doesn't exist. And while they're thinking they're believing in the God of the Bible, they're really believing in Satan. This is the ideology behind this. Um, Jehovah Witnesses are part of a Zionistic group. There are Jews that have been around for hundreds of years that are part of a Zionistic belief system to bring you know, Jerusalem back, but a huge portion of the aristocrats are Satanists, and they have a belief system that religious people, Muslims, are going to fight this war out at the very end, and all going to be left is the atheist and the Satanic groups, and that the Christians... And the atheists will battle it out. And at the end, they'll be left and they will sacrifice the atheist to Satan. That is the belief system of the Zionist cultist groups that we're talking about. These writings predate World War I and World War II. Part of the things that Hitler did was because he knew about these Zionist belief systems and thought that they were a danger to his power. That's why he attacked the Jews the way he did. It's one of the reasons. Jehovah Witnesses' name, changing to Jehovah. Jehovah is another name for Satan. New Light is another name for Satan. This is why the organization has a Bible called the New World Translation. The New World Order is a satanic order. Joseph Franklin, the second president, was a Satanist. That's what I believe. 
if you learn about him and you found about his family history and the things that he'd done, he is a very creepy and sick individual. His history um, growing up is well documented. He's a violent person, an alcoholic, amongst other things. And then when you look at Nathan, I don't know a whole lot about Nathan, so I can't speak a whole lot about him. But when you learn about child abuse and when it started to be being protected, it started underneath Nathan's watch. So I believe that the part of the satanic cult groups or masonic cult groups that are affiliated with pedophilia came in under Nathan's watch. And that's why the policies and procedures that you see protecting pedophiles and not reporting to the police and things started with Nathan. The New World Translation is a satanic Bible by definition. Now, remember, I'm not religious. I'm telling you this based on what Christian belief systems are, what Christians believe, and based on their belief systems, using mediums and doing spiritism and doing all this stuff and getting and altering Bibles based on that is actually forbidden in the Bible itself. So by that definition, it is satanic if you believe in heaven and hell and then God and Satan. So I did try to send this information that it seemed to confuse people in a text format, so I'm explaining it to you verbally. Make it easier so everyone understands. First president, a mason. Second president, a cultist. Third president, a cultist. Why do I know that? Because they took cultist material and then they gave it to you guys. Watchtower is a cultist group. Jehovah Witnesses are a cultist group. Period. It's simple. If you're teaching cultist belief systems... You're a cultist group. It doesn't take rocket science. It's really that simple. You have belief systems that are cultists, then you're a cultist group. 